So five weeks ago I ran a 50k and I haven't run more than 200 feet since then. Dreary day out in uh, San Santa Barbara. This is Campus Point. Um, still doesn't stop the uh, surfers from skiing back there. Um, but I just wanted to give a little update on on what's happening with my running right now. Um, this is definitely uh, a bit of a rough patch. Um, Fifty or five weeks ago, I raced a 50k. It was the Montana de Oro in San Luis Obispo. Um, and the week building up to that, I was dealing with a little bit of pain in my quad. Um, and I didn't think it was anything serious, so I didn't really worry about it that much. Um, and I, I thought it would just go away when I raced the 50k, and it did subside um, in the middle part of the race. Unfortunately, um, upon finishing that race, the week after that I had a lot of trouble walking. There was pain all throughout my left leg, um, and then even as that week rolled over onto the next, and the, the main soreness went away, I still had a pain in what felt like my femur. Um, and that's lasted and is improving relatively slowly on a week by week basis. Um, so I've seen a doctor and it's unclear what I'm dealing with. Um, hopefully not a femoral stress fracture, but I still can't run after five weeks. And it might roll over into a few more weeks. Um, so yeah, this is the longest I haven't run in six years um, and it's definitely a little bit difficult for me. Um, the silver lining of this I guess is that I am definitely becoming more of a well-rounded uh, athlete in general um, because I've been lifting weights and rock climbing and cycling whereas before I was totally scrawny in the upper body and um, it might not be a bad thing that I'm spending a little a few weeks on something else but no doubt I miss it a lot. Um, and I, I'm aware that this is, in the grand scheme of the world, a very minor setback. And it sucks from my perspective, but it, it will go away eventually, um, hopefully within a couple of weeks from now. Um, I'm really stoked to get back and uh, um, training for the Kumak 100K. Um, my hometown of Chico uh, is an amazing place to train, and I'm going to be there this summer. So um, I'm really, really excited to do that, to do that running. So anyway, yeah, um, this is a really big challenge for me. Um, and I'm not so much worried about the fitness consequences of not running for eight weeks or so. Um, I just really want to start running again. It's, it's killing me. Um, anybody that runs consistently probably feels the same way um, when they get injured. Um, yeah, this is the biggest challenge I've ever faced. Um, I guess that's not too enormous of a challenge to face, but um, yeah, in my, my life of consistency, it's definitely a bit of a struggle. Um, so yeah, um, I'll keep everybody updated. The reason I haven't posted in a while is because a while back I applied for the, um, the, the Solomon Running Academy, um, and in the early stages of my injury, I didn't know how long it was going to last, and I didn't want to publicly say that I was dealing with a long-term injury um, in case that swayed anybody's decisions, um, which is a little bit silly, but that's kind of the way, the way it goes. Um, but I did not get in, so that problem solved itself. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm freezing right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna head back in before I uh, lose the ability to use my lips properly and speak. Um, so yeah, thanks for following along. Um, uh, wish me luck with the next couple of weeks.